everyone. I'm Renee Terran, Fortnite's deputy CISO. And today I have Rob Rashad, VP of training at Fortnite, joining me here today. Today we're gonna to be talking about some of Fortnite's initiatives to close the cyber skills gap. Rob, I hear you have some exciting news to share today about our latest efforts. Can you tell us more about it? Hi, Renee, sure can. So as you know, Fortinet's always been uh, committed to uh, helping to close the cybersecurity skills gap. And we have uh, we continue to do that through a, a number of initiatives uh, from our cybersecurity awareness training that's, uh, that's always been available for free through our NSC 1 and NSC 2 levels, right through to the most technical uh, technical training for uh, for IT professionals. So I'm pleased to let you know that we're adding a new course, a new free course to our technical training that we're calling uh, FortiGate Essentials. So we're trying to address a wide range of audiences with this new course uh, from uh, you know current current customers who are uh, have already started training, uh, learning about FortiGate products, uh, FortiNet products. And we want to provide continuity to those uh, those customers who have already started down their, their learning path. But we also have students in, in academic programs where uh, Fortinet's training has been integrated into the cybersecurity programs. And those students now are continuing their training at home. And again, we want to provide continuity to, to those students as well. Uh, and, and thirdly, you know, we have a number of workers who unfortunately in the current situation have uh, become displaced workers either permanently or, or temporarily. And a lot of them may be looking for new skills to add to their portfolio. And we want to provide those people uh, that are potentially interested in cybersecurity uh, a, a very easily accessible way and a cost-free way to look at potentially starting down a, a cybersecurity uh, training path. So all those are different audiences that we're trying to address with this course. Again, it's it's uh, it's it's a course that we're adding geared towards IT professionals or people with a technical aptitude that uh, either need to continue their learning path or start down a new path around uh, cybersecurity. Well, that sounds like it's a great addition to the NSC Institute's training and certification catalog. Can you share a little bit more about the NSC Institute? Sure. But at the end of the day, you know, the NSC Institute's uh, goal is to close the cybersecurity skills gap. And, uh, you know, we can't do that on our own. So we've partnered with, uh, with many organizations around the world uh, to, to try to have an effect on, on that. Uh, we've partnered with organizations like the World Economic Forum and their Center for Cybersecurity. Um, and one of their pillars is, is to build a cyber, a cyber aware workforce. And that mandate aligns really well with the mandate of the NSC Institute. But we've also partnered with um, academic institutions around the world. As I mentioned, there's students who, who are in programs today where uh, our Fortinet curriculum has been integrated into their academic programs. And that's through a, a, a program called the Fortinet Network Security Academy program that's, that's part of the, uh, the, the NSC Institute. And we've also partnered with a number of organizations that are focused on helping veterans transition into a new career. And uh, again, we've, we've worked with um, organizations around the world to take our curriculum and integrate it into programs that are designed to, to upskill and reskill a lot of those veterans. So, um, you know, th those are some of the programs that are part of the NSC Institute. But then we also have our flagship, what we call our NSC uh, certification program. And this is an eight level certification program that provides training across a wide range of audiences. Uh, as I mentioned, the, the, um, the, uh, the, the World Economic Forum's uh, Center for Cybersecurity trying to build a cyber aware workforce, that implies a lot of different skill sets at a lot of different levels. And that's why we have an eight level program where at the, the, the lower levels, NSC one, two, and three are focused on cybersecurity awareness because that, that's critical for anyone up through to the higher levels where we're focused on engineers and architects and so on. So uh, those folks that are signing up for the new uh, essentials program, the FortiGate essentials program that I mentioned, uh, those folks would be very pleased to know that the curriculum for that course has actually come from our NSE level four curriculum within that certification program. So people that do take it will actually be well on their way to, uh, to starting down the path for one of our certifications. Well, that's great. And talking to some of our customers and partners, you know, security awareness training is more relevant than ever. You know, we're definitely seeing an increase in social engineering attacks where adversaries are trying to play on the human emotions 
to try and steal financial and sensitive information. You know, the cyber criminals don't need to rely on sophisticated zero days attacks, you know, when social engineering is proving to be so effective. You know, instead they're leveraging email, phone, and text-based scams to try and get people to download malware and give up their user credentials or other personal information. In addition, you know, more people are teleworking now than ever. You know, some organizations are very familiar with teleworking and now just looking to scale their capabilities to accommodate their entire workforces. However, for other organizations, this is a whole new world for them when it comes to teleworking. The organizations are not only trying to build secure remote access for their workforce, but also figuring out how did they train their employees to do it securely? You know, many of these employees are now forced to use their home devices to access their work networks. These same devices are being used by their family and their kids to download games, surf the internet, and that induces, introduces additional risks for organizations as many of these devices may not be secure. You can always patch devices, but the one vulnerability that you can't patch is the human element. You need your employees to really to be your first line of defense. Therefore, ensuring that they are security aware is more important than ever. Well, it's very true. And I can tell you with the Fortigate Essentials course, one of the things that we're trying to do is make sure that our, our existing customers who are out there and have Fortigates deployed already, uh, we want to make sure that they understand they have the technology in place already to secure a remote teleworker uh, workforce. Uh, you know, some customers obviously know that and have those environments set up, but some customers it's new to them. And, and some people just may not realize that they have the technology already in place within their Fortigate devices to do that. Uh, you know, the other good news I can share with you is uh, it, it's obviously very critical that, that everyone has a good level of cybersecurity awareness. And just in the last week, we've seen the numbers surge significantly on our NSC1 and NSC2 level courses around that cybersecurity awareness. So, so people, are, uh, people are definitely uh, taking advantage of the training that's there. And I'd really encourage people to uh, check out the new technical training as well. I can tell you that just over the weekend, be before we actually announced the course, we actually had hundreds of people already signed up uh, before the announcement went out. So, you know, I, I think that's a great sign that people are already uh, seeing the need and seeing the training that's out there. But I'd encourage everyone uh, to check out the training. Anyone that has an account on our uh, NSC Institute portal at training.fortinet.com. That's all you need, and you can sign up for any of this free training. Well, thanks, Grad. That's really exciting news. I'm looking forward to having the training, and I might even have my family take some of the other classes in the NSC 1 and 2 levels. Well, I think that's a great idea. Well, great, Rob. Thanks. I look forward to seeing this training. Thanks for all great. your hard work. Great to talk to you. Thanks.